Hello everybody, welcome back to the dev blog. This is the 14th episode and I realized that uh, I never actually went into any detail at all on how to create a sub game. Like we've looked at making mods, making textures, you know, we've biome, um, concept art we've done, we've done all sorts of stuff, but we've never actually looked at how to make a sub game. Like, what steps you need to use to create your own sub-game. I mean, we know we need the mods, but there's more than that. So, that's what this episode is dedicated to. So, to start with, you need to know where your mind test user directory is. Which, in my case, I am on a GNU Linux system. So, it is my home folder, and then dot mind test. Uh, on Windows, I have no idea where it is. On Mac, I have no idea where it is. On all, actually, on Mac, it's probably in your user mind test. I'm guessing because it's Unix based, but I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but you need to find your mind test directory, um, and then you go to games, and then within games, you create a new folder and call it whatever you want to call your sub game. Which uh, in this case, I just called it new sub game. The name can be changed later, though, and it is relatively easy to do. In fact, it is so easy to do because this is where you this is where you do it. So the name of your subgame folder can actually be pretty much anything you want because that's not what name gets used. Uh, as you see here, I have a called new hyphen subgame, and then you have a game dot conf file which resides in the parent folder of your subgame and it contains one line name equals new subgame or whatever you want to call your subgame and the cool thing about this is you can change your name whenever and as often as you like and it does not matter it only affects where it shows up in the menu but it, you don't have to change anything in your mods or anything else so you need that because that lets my tests know what name to use for your subgame then obviously you have your mods folder and that's where you put all your mods. We're not really going to talk about that at all because so most of the other videos to this point have been dealing with concept art is just something I threw in here. You totally don't need that. Uh, in your menu, you're going to have two files. You're going to have an icon, which let me actually just launch my test quick here. So you can see where this stuff is being used. So you will see we have it listed, uh, it says here, new sub game. So that's using the name. Uh, this is our icon here, which is this icon right here. And then we have the header, whoops, the header, which is being used right up top. Now you can, if you don't want to have the dynamic clouds, uh, bah, 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 I think voxel world, nope. Oh, Dream Test. That's what it was called. Oh, uh, interesting. I believe Tutorial does it, though. Nope, that's just using a header, too. You can somehow use a full picture for the background. Oh, here we go. Okay, so all you do, you just define a background file, and you can still use a header, or you can probably get by without a header and put the header on the background, but the background will be tiled to fit, I believe. So you probably still want to use a header. But if you have a background file defined, the clouds go away. So if you don't want to have those clouds, you can get rid of them. I'm just going to go ahead and close that just so I'm not eating up any resources unnecessarily. Not that I have any shortage of resources on this machine, but, you know, it's always good to not waste them. Um, a few other things that are not necessary, but I uh, think are kind of nice. I change log. And that's just going to be, yep, your changes kind of put in order as to when things were added. I I do a reverse, whatchamacallit here, date. So the newest is always at the top. I mean, this is just for history. I mean, you could find all this information out by going on GitHub and looking through all the comments, but... Whatever, I put a change log in there. I think it's a good idea, but obviously you don't have to. And a license. 
license is really good now if you are copying mods from other people um such as i have done with several uh da -da. i keep the original license and the original readme here um so that's that's got everything right there and then in the oh i closed it mm -hmm. and then in my license file here um, I just wrote mods have been copied from other have the original license file in the mod directory, but then I am still listing the licenses for all the mods here. So this is just a real easy breakdown. And actually, the reason I am doing this is because I want to have license on all the media. Well, for the most part of the media, the gamer model, B3D, that I am not making a new character model because I, I don't know how I could make it any different it's perfect how it is but I have uh, I've changed the texture on that so basically going through here I can just look and say oh screwdriver still has the original texture I should change that and that's actually the only original texture that I am still using so that's good it's just one I have to change and then we have the mind tests conf file here which is just is short for configuration same thing with the game conf and uh, this is going to host a few things. Um, you can put the default map gen, which doesn't really seem to be working because mine's defaulting to V7. So that might be uh, a mistake. Uh, unfortunately, the dev wiki does not really tell us a whole lot about this. Um, but I think if we go to this link here. This will give us, yeah, all this available settings and their default values for the mind test configuration. Um, and you can change these options for your sub game. So, for example, let's go ahead and copy the line free move false and paste that right into here. Now, blank lines are ignored. So you can leave all the blank lines you want. I'm going to change free move to true. And oh, I thought I still had my test up. And then we will launch my test. And uh, we'll have to create a new world. Great world name. Phenomenal, I may even say. Now, theoretically. Free move disabled. No fly privilege. Wait, what? But I turned that on. Free move equals true. Do I need a fly? She creates a fly privilege on the server. Wait, what? This requires a fly privilege on the server. Well, then why would you... Hmm. See, that's kind of silly because why would you need... Wow. Okay, I have a feeling these are not the options we wanted to look at. So, the next best thing is to just look at somebody else's and see what they have. Okay, so... Da, 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 da. The changing liquid speeds. Give initial stuff. Default privileges. Oh. Okay, maybe that's what we need to do. Let's try this. We're going to copy the default privileges and drag shot home spawn. And uh, let's go ahead and do fly and fast and let's just delete those lines now i'm gonna to have to create a new world i'll delete that one first not that there's any chance that i'm going to get the same name with my very scientific random name selection all right here we go so i have free move fast is enabled by default um i forget what the other things all were Default uh, interact. Well, obviously you have interact, shout, home, spawn, fly, and fast. 
Oh, hey, that means I could do... Uh... I wonder if I could just do all. Let's try that. I don't know, man. Oh, what am I doing? I need a new world. Again, very random name. Very scientific selection method. And let's see what happens here. No fly, no fast. Okay, so you do have to list them all individually. But, this is actually really good because... Um, fly fast, give time, no clip, home, spawn. Actually, I don't even think home or spawn are going to do anything because I don't have commands for those set up. Fly fast, give. I think that's, I think that's all I need. This is actually really handy to know. Because, if you've watched any of the previous 13 episodes... You have seen that every time I create a new world, I always have to grant myself all privileges. But it'd be so much easier if I just by default already have give and I can do give me ground dirt 99. Boom, didn't have to give myself the give privilege. Um, and then how about times 6,000? Ooh, I don't have set time permission. Let's go ahead and add that. Oh, because I had it just time, that's why. So that's handy. Um, of course, you would not want to leave this in here if you are creating a server with your sub game because that's going to give everybody all these privileges which you don't want them to have. But while you're developing, it's nice to have them because uh, then you don't have to mess around with granting yourself those privileges all the time. And as you see in this file, this is from Crafting World. You can change movement speeds, climbing speeds, give initial stuff, turn it on or off. Um, and give initial stuff is a mod. If you don't have that mod, it's not going to do anything. Uh, player limits. Yeah, this is, this is some server stuff down here at the bottom. But, uh, and they have day and night cycles. Which I bet you could also change one day night cycle. That's 24 minutes instead of 60 times speed equals 60. You could probably also set the time speed to be to not change at all, but I don't know how to do that. But let's experiment, because that's what this is all about. We're going to set the time speed to zero. Um, that shouldn't require a new world. So we should just be able to load this guy up. Time is 11.04. Okay, well, let's see, uh, see if the time changes at all. All right, this should be long enough. Let's try time again. 11.19. Nope, that definitely did not stop time. It just is going to make time run at a different speed. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that, and we'll just leave it at our default speed. Actually, uh, my months changes the day speed, so that's, that's why that didn't do anything, because it's being overridden by a mod. But yeah, so we have all these different things. Unfortunately, I can't really find uh, any documentation on that to link for you guys. Because this is the only thing I can find, which doesn't really help for a sub game. And searching for sub game doesn't really pull up anything about a sub game. So, yeah. But that, in a nutshell, is what you actually have to do to create a sub game. All you need is your mods, your menu and graphics, game configuration, and my test configuration. License, readmes, change logs, anything like that. That's all optional. It's not really necessary. Um, those are pretty much your bare ones. And then obviously you have to have mods inside your mod folder. I don't think that really needed explaining, but there has to be mods there, so there's something to run. But that's it. It's... It's really not hard to create the sub game where the time consuming stuff comes in is making all of the mods for the sub game. And of course, if you are using mods that other people have made, uh, you save some time doing that. But then, of course, you have all of the 
juggling of licenses and making sure everything's staying within correct license and making sure everything's compatible with each other. So maybe you have, you know, one mod that adds some new trees or something and you have another mod that adds some materials that can be made with trees, but it only adds material or adds things for, you know, the trees for mind test game. So you have to add in these other trees to that mod as well. So you have compatibility between all your woods so you can make stairs from every kind of wood instead of just default pine birch and acacia i think are the four that are in my test game so there's a lot of compatibility kind of things you got to deal with that way not to say that you don't have to deal with them if you're making your own mods because you still do but you're writing everything on your own that way so you kind of know about these things instantly instead of making thinking oh yeah everything is good and then someone's like hey i can't make x out of this material but i can make x out of this other material which is pretty much the same thing it just it has a different texture and a different name but it, it's really the same thing you know they're both wood so just something to keep in mind but that is gonna wrap this one up guys uh probably should have done this for like video two instead of video 14 but, um, you know, somebody left a comment on YouTube and kind of got me thinking. I was like, oh, you know what? They want to know how to make a sub game. And I've been, like, documenting the process of going through making all the mods and stuff. But, uh, yeah, never really did what you need to do to set up a sub game. So I should probably do that. And, of course, with my wonderful recording schedule... You know, I'm out up three months in advance. It's like, yeah, I, I'll, I'll record a video for that. And then this guy's going to have to wait 13 weeks for the video to go live. Hmm, okay. But so is life, you know? So, um, yeah, HJC. Sorry it took so long for you to see this. It was recorded on May 18th. I know it's not going live till like, July 20th, or maybe this is even into August now. I don't even know. But yeah, here you go. Hopefully this helps you out if you haven't already figured it out. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.